first set scrum then from that knock forward from Alex Moon and Barr have solid ball for Chudley to release to Reese Priestland who's charged down in midfield and this could easily run loose for Hutchinson great footballing skills from him Gatherton scores and Northampton with the dream start George Furbank quickly recycled that ball is slightly loose Tom Ellis does still manage to get it Chudley charges through it from Chudley charging for the line and scoring outstanding play from the line just a couple of metres away, McNally waits for it. But pick and go once again. Northampton offside, the try is scored! Looked at many since joining the line, picked up to that short side again. Mitchell, beautiful hands to get it out wide to Tamana Harrison. He's held up just short of the line, down in the quagmire of that bottom corner. Wood fights towards the line, is he held up? The angles are inconclusive, which would mean that there isn't any reason he can't award a try. It looks like a better scrummage this time. Shedley waiting for it. They have the advantage, picked up by Mercer, crutches through and scores! Under the post! Both have their reward! Patience pays off! It is a third try of the afternoon! Platform established. Now they've got it going forward. Important they keep that momentum on. John Ross doing a really good job trying to disrupt, but he's being taken out of it now. Has it. Look at the drive and the power and the organisation from Wasps. They'll get full value for this. Onwards from Gopper from the intercepts. Not at full stretch here, McGuigan, but great strength in the fans. And he's got the pass away as well. Here's Dupria inside his support if he needs it. He doesn't need it. He's to work very hard for every little spare patch of ground. Sopoanga might have worked something here. There's an overlap. Minotsi's off. And he's carving back against the grain. He's got support from De Jong. And here's Nizam Kar. He's isolated. He needs some assistance. Here's Taylor. On the bounce to Kibarigi. Chips, chases, oh. scores! Landacho pops the ball up, the inside break from Dombrat, and Dombrat is straight through. Let him run. Okay, he's on side from Sonny the side. after it, Shilcox underneath it. Oh, and he looked up there, and there's a chance here for Chisholm, and Chisholm just needs to grab it. And has Chisholm got there? He thinks he has. The Worcester, Heaney. The long pass out, Shilcock is there, can he get through the fullback? I think he might have done. Jamie Shilcock has got over. Jaco Creel needed to be there. Now the ball spun out and the try scored. There's the ball, Ooh, Cipriani had to get in and sweep it away into the arms of Woodward. Finds Marshall brilliantly. How on earth did Woodward get that away? And he's got Braley to his left. Marshall might not need anybody. What are his footballing skills like? Oh, oh. exemplary. Marshall this time. Earl has it. Tompkins is involved. And look at Duncan Taylor as well. And once again, they're over the line. And once again, they score. Getting ever closer. West and the turn and Buffalo Clark nearly there. It went backwards. Simpson sweeps it up. Still the opportunity He's for Gloucester. Rapava Ruskin freeing the space over it. Still under advantage. And now the charge for the line and the score. And finally they get over and it's Ludlow. Edge a little bit further forward. That is the try line of Leicester Tigers. And they're over. London Irish strike first at the Medeski. Finds it to Myler. Myler has run as one of them's Loder away. Can he find his way all the way to the line? Ben Loder is working his way there. I think he's got that. Again, more good hands. Hepatima. Loder again down this side. Cuts back inside. There's four or five Leicester Tigers players on him. Touch. Irish could be interested here. 
It is into the hands. Phipps is going to try and look for somebody in the crossfield kick to Naholo. This could work. What about the bounce? Naholo stays in field. This could be a nice score for the New Zealander. Irish hold out. At the back they go. Hardwick, big strong tackle on him. And Irish are away. And they're going to go the length of the field. Ball over the top, Holmes looking to take him on the outside, and he does slide in. Utilising the pass more than the step, Yendel. Varney's offside. Bristol offside. Three. Chiefs with a huge opportunity to take the lead, which they take, and Sam Simmons with the try. For the foreseeable future, so I'm really pleased with how they've shaped up. Great, really pleased with their attitude, both in training um, and in the match this week. And um, we're, we're kind of reaping the rewards at the moment. And you've scored, Rob. Have you, scored, mate? Have you ever been a rugby commentator, Rob? <laughs> what you've, a got, you've got the job. 15 minutes to go. Hughes pats it away to O'Connor. And then this is Morahan, pins his ears back. He's got Hogg to beat. Back inside to O'Connor. And they've waited a long time. But that was Bristol at their best. And they've still not given up this fight, not by a long way. Introducing himself to the Premiership, this would be some introduction if the Bears can rescue this. Well, oh, they've got the drive on wonderfully. The long throw to the tail, and Exeter in full retreat. Is this to be the moment for the Bears? To try. It's a try. You can't not what does there. Carl Dixon say? The Bears are sure, Bristol are sure. And Keith Lewis, the TMO, will decide. Let's try yes or no. Carl Dixon's already seen the grounding, he just didn't know how it got there. Seen the same thing, yes. Okay, so I'm allowed to award the try. Yes. My goodness. Okay. My goodness. For the first time since December 2009, and look at the celebrations.